You're watching Oregon's News at 7 on locally owned Oregon's Fox. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention announcing today new mask guidelines that include vaccinated Americans. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Joyce Kim. They recommend fully vaccinated people to wear masks in public indoor settings. This as the Delta variant spreads across the country. CDC Director Rochelle Walensky says the alarming rise in new cases is mostly due to unvaccinated people. Reporting in Coos Bay, I'm Amanda Slee. Still to come on Oregon's News at 7, why people got so emotional at the Capitol Riot Committee's first hearing today. We'll have a look at the testimony, plus newly released footage from January 6th. And we saw an increase in cloud coverage across western Oregon today, kind of filtering out the sunlight, but that did not stop temperatures from warming. We only go hotter from here. I'll discuss how high the mercury climbs next on Oregon's News at 7. After an amazing upset, Roseburg looks to pull off another Friday shot. Night Fever, immediately following NBC 16 News at 11. You're watching Oregon's News at 7 on locally owned Oregon's Fox. A Georgia man accused of fatally shooting eight people at three Atlanta area spas in March pleaded guilty to four of the killings in a Cherokee County courtroom today. Great tips. Thanks, Josh. Shifting gears now, Brandon Kamerman joins us in the studio. What's new in the world of sports tonight, Brandon? Pac-12 Media Days in Los Angeles. We'll hear from Mario Cristobal about how much better prepared his team is this season and from Jonathan Smith about moving into year four at Oregon State. That's next in sports. Sports on Oregon's News is brought to you in part by Bigfoot Beverages. It's the Olympics, the heart of baseball season. NBA draft is this week. But if you blink for a second, you may miss the start of college football. Now, Josh, Ooh. have you ever had this dessert before? Oddly enough, no, I have never had this dessert before. Shocking. I'm a huge sweet tooth, so that surprises me too. Have you? I have tried creme brulee, but personally, I'm more of a savory person. Okay, so it's yeah. not my go-to, but it is delicious. So if you like creme brulee as well, you should have so that good. for dessert tonight. <laughs> Thanks for joining us.